Hi, my name is Billy Turnbow with Cisco Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to configure APNS for Jabber iPhone. APNS is the Apple Push notification service that will allow Jabber iPhone users to receive notifications when the application is resting in the background. Let's start by reviewing the prerequisites necessary for this feature. Communications Manager and Presence must be at least on version 11.5.1 SU8 or 12.5.1 SU3. DNS must be configured between Communications Manager and Presence for push messaging. Connectivity over port 443 must be enabled to external addresses which we will discuss later. Traffic from the 17.0.0.0 slash 8 subnet range must be allowed for the Apple Cloud Network. Both multiple device messaging and stream management must be enabled on presence. This is under the System Service Parameters and XCP Router. Now with that, let's start the configuration. As stated earlier, we should first test the connectivity to the external addresses that are necessary for APNS. Open a command line interface and we will use the utils network connectivity command. There are three external addresses that we will need to test. The first goes to the Fusion onboarding service and it looks like this. The next is the common identity service. And the last is the push rest service. If any of these come back with an error, it means there may be blocked ports on Communications Manager or external access is unavailable. While we are here, we want to make sure that the required Communications Manager services are running. I can check that with the command utils service list. This would be the Cisco Push Notification Service and the Cisco Management Agent Service. And here we can see both services show started. Next, let's synchronize the licenses on Communications Manager. This is only required on version 11.5.1. .1. To do this, simply go to the Cisco Prime License Manager. Now go to the Product Instances and click Synchronize Now. You can see this was successful here. Finally, we are ready now to enable APNS. We will do this from the Cisco Unified CM Administration page under Advanced Features and Cisco Cloud Onboarding. For version 12.5.1, you will see the option here to generate a voucher. This must be done first before continuing. Select the Generate Voucher button to get past this error. Note that we should not see any errors on this page, but if we do, it means there may be some issues with connectivity that will need to be addressed before push notification will work properly. To enable APNS, we need to check all four boxes as you see here. The last box for Enable HTTP Proxy is optional if your environment needs it. In my case, I will be enabling the option. Click Save and now Communications Manager will load the certificates from an internal folder location in the operating system. It will make a query to the certificates on the cloud. Now we will need to restart the Cisco Tomcat service from the Communications Manager Publisher node to push the certificates out to the other nodes. Once complete, we will need to restart two services from I'm in Presence. The easiest way to perform this is from the command line. The commands are utils service restart Cisco XCP config manager. The next is util service restart Cisco XCP router. This must be done for all presence nodes. 
Lastly, check the Cisco XCP router service parameters under I am in presence administration, system, service parameters. For push messaging, we need to make sure that the following parameters are enabled. Stream management, multi-device messaging, and push notification high availability. If any are disabled, set them to enabled and then restart the XCP router service once more. Push notification services are now configured and running at this point. For more information, please refer to the online deployment guide, which you can find by simply searching for Jabber Push Notification. For troubleshooting steps, you can refer to my other video titled How to Troubleshoot Push Notification for Jabber and WebEx. Thank you for watching.